Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville featuring the Florida Everglades. But our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks. Where? I don't know. Where are they, Dan? I don't know. I can't find them. Where are they? Oh no, where'd they go? Oh, 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 hello. 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 They're like five blocks away. Yeah, they're like five blocks Not that way. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Hockey close. Locker. Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh is crud, I just gave away my address, kind of. <laughs> is this, is this, is that your goalie sense tingling that you just know where the nearest hockey equipment store is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but you can contact uh, this lovely establishment <laughs> at 414 800 Or you can visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. And you can get all your hockey needs. Okay, uh, okay. And by hockey, I mean anything hockey you need. Fan gear, playing gear, figure skating gear, referee, referee gear, gear, inline skating gear, I can't get my goalie game. gear. I can't get my uh, hockey video games there, can I? No. No, uh, unfortunately not. But anyway... But no, I you, wish. Can get, uh, you can get everything there. You yeah. can get your uh, vintage uh, NHL jerseys. You can get your Milwaukee Admirals jerseys. You said out on enthusiasm. You can get Milwaukee oh, Admirals no, jerseys, the one he's wearing. Yeah. You can get a white Nashville Predators Adidas jersey, and they're actually cheaper than going to Fanatics. Ooh. Ooh. That's always good. And yes, uh, Hockey Locker does do jersey custom. And they who do have hats similar to that one. Similar. Yeah, they similar. Have, now, they have the one I have, but I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> I thought this had an Admiral game because okay. it was their uh, salute to uh, Nashville night. Drop your skates off there anytime. Pick them up the next day, maybe. Yes, just leave some contact info. Oh, you need money I'm before saying. you pick them up. I'm saying. Anyway, the reason we're all here the is... There's a reason? Yes. Oh, sweet. Here it is. <laughs> Everblade. Time. Whoa! What is that? What is that ridiculous Orlando logo? <laughs> Whoa. Well, we're, wait a minute. Be we're not. We're not doing an ECHL logo video yet. We got to get the. More a coming though. We got to get through the NHL arenas and AHL logos and, remember, and this jerseys. It's professional and, part of it's our professional. show. It's professional. Yeah. But it's forthcoming. We may actually have to put that on YouTube before uh, we draw the ECHL primary logos. Uh, anyways, they're about to cover the upcoming Everblade Solar Bears game. Uh, no, that was to, it. it just happened today. Oh. They won 6 to 3. You just have it right nice. now. They just won. Yeah. I thought <laughs> we were doing a preview, but no. Oh, no, we're doing a preview for oh. uh, their next coming game. Yep. Uh, ah. So the uh, shots were pretty even. Uh, penalties. Uh, what's up with that? Why do they like calling that call so much in the. ECHL. What call? Cross-checking? No, unsportsmanlike conduct. They're trying to teach sportsmanship, I'm guessing. All right, so scoring in the first, because shots were even at 36, 31, pretty much even. Um, oh, by the way, the Everblades had 36, just to make that yep. clear. Um, so scoring first in the game was Lucas Craig's with an assist from Cody Soule and Hugo Waugh. Then we have a unassisted goal from Miguel Shalligan. It was an yeah. equal strength, not unassisted. It was unassisted. Yeah, no, was yeah, assist. no unassist. No assist. Then we had Cody Donahue with an assist by Rich Boyd and Taylor Thompson. Oh, God, you're down there now? Okay, so you have Yono May, a goal, equal strength with an assist from Taylor Thompson. And Michael Brodzniak. Or Brodzinski. Or Brodzinski. Um, the second period, anybody? Second period, uh, Florida Everblades starting to get back into their winning ways. Uh, we had a goal from Justin Auger with an assist by Cam McLeese and uh, Lucas Craggs. Lucas Craggs, please come back to Milwaukee. Yeah, uh, I agree. <laughs> uh, next, we had a uh, hunt. Was it a goal by Hunter Garland or Garland uh, with an assist by uh, Blake Winecki and uh, Michael Hunterbrinker, Dan's favorite. <laughs> uh, and then we had a third <gasps> goal, a third goal from the second period with uh, Blake Winecki uh, and an assist by Brandon Fortunato and Cam McLeese. Wow, Fortunato found there. And uh, going into the third, we, we had, had a goal by Hugo Watt, assisted by Ben Masala. Masala. And then we also had a goal by Michael Hootenberger, assisted by Zach Maglood and Blake Winnecki. Okay, that's funny. You that's funny? Five, no, five, that five penalty in the goal? third is funny. Hey, I okay. scroll up, Dan. I want to see, is that five unanswered goals? I'm counting five, six, right? 
five unanswered. But let's talk about this penalty in the third at 18-17 in the third period. Can Appleby called for a double minor for roughing? Can Appleby goaltender? What the goaltender yeah. got busted for roughing? What was he doing? Popping people with a stick? This is why I'm so upset that the ECHL doesn't have video highlights. Yeah, because I would like to see that. Like, you just have to go off of radio, unless if you pay... Match like, highlights and not a vote of the... Exactly. Like, there's... <laughs> what, are they on delay or something? They've got to be. Well, because like, I looked back at a game from two weeks ago, there was no match highlights, so... Aww. It all depends on whether the team does it or not. Well, Aww. also, it costs, like, eight ninety nine per game for just to watch the game, and I'm just like... Shoot. Me and him used to do that for the Admirals before yeah. we... Uh, yeah, but that was scattered. Game. Huh? Yeah. That was scattered. So, that was the, uh, oh, I forgot something in that video. Well, what did you forget? The goaltenders. The goaltenders? Bro. Uh, the Everblades and Solar Bears. So, in that for the Everblades was obviously Ken Appleby with the win. Um, I, if I remember correctly. You can go back to it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying not to be here all night. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's like uh, our two goaltenders in uh, in Florida is Ken Appleby and Cam Johnson. Uh, I believe uh, Ken Appleby is the the out is the starting goalie. He's the outstanding goalie so far. Although the both of them are playing pretty well from the my understanding of it, it's just that they're playing Ken Appleby with uh, more. Uh, I guess more enthusiasm. But, um, other than that... Okay, goaltender was Clint Windsor for the Orlando Solar Bears. He stopped 30 of 36 with an 83.33 save percentage. Yeah, that's sad if you give up eight out of six goals. All right, so there we go. So now I got that, that out. It. There, I got that out of the way. So, All right, up next we have the Jacksonville Icemen for the Everblades. This game happens when? Um, Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, they have 49 games played. They're 19 and 24 with a 38 win percentage. Um, they have 40 goals for 140 goals, uh, 140 goals for 165 goals against. Three overtime wins, five overtime losses, one shootout loss, one shootout win. Uh, and team comparison, goals for, scored versus goals against. Um, the Everblades have the edge in shootouts. The Everblades have the edge yeah, shorthanded Everblades goals. Yeah, 195 compared to 140. Mm. Yeah, um, and uh, power play percentage, however, the Jacksonville Icemen have the edge by 3%. Uh, 17%, and uh, Florida has 14 and then in penalty kill percentage, the uh, uh, Jacksonville Icemen again have the advantage by 2%, 82 to 80. Yeah. Um, do you want to take the top four right here? And who is who? Uh, Me? Yeah. All right, Chase Wang. He has uh, 47 games played, 17 goals, 24 assists with a negative five. Uh, Mike Hedden, uh, or is it Hedden or Heated? Either or will yeah. work for uh, 37 now. games played, 9 goals, 22 assists with a, I'm assuming that's a plus. Two. Yeah, that's a plus 2. Any okay. solid number without a negative. And then Brendan plus. Warren, uh, 36 games played, 11 goals, 12 assists. I'll just keep it at that. And then Emerson Clark, uh, 34 Former games. Former Admiral. Yeah. yeah, Emerson Clark, 34 games played, 8 goals, 14 assists, and a negative 9. With 158 PIMS. And then, uh, do I do John Albert? Nope, I'm just going to give them a quick rundown of guys who were in our system, who, a uh, uh, guy who was in our system back in the early, or late, late 2000s. That was Wacy Rabbit, uh, 22 games played, 5 goals, 12 assists, with a negative 5. He, he played for us during the 2008, 2009, 2009, 2010 season. Oh, that was their uh, top, that was their forwards we broke down. Just Here's your top four four right. or top four defensemen. Yeah, we have um, Luke Shiplow with uh, 46 games played, three goals, 16 assists, 19 points, and a plus five. Uh, Dejan Mingo with 37 games played, four goals, 15 assists, 19 points, and a negative three. Uh, Trey, uh, Trey Phillips with uh, 36 games played, four goals, 11 assists, 15 points, and a negative three. 
Uh, and following, we have Dalton Thrower with uh, net, the 29 games played, three goals, five assists, eight points, and a negative eight. Uh, is that Thrower or Thrower? Thrower. Thrower? It could be Thrower, maybe. Thrower, we know. Again. All right, so let's talk about their goaltenders. Their starting goalie is former Admiral Adam Carlson. He was with us for like a week. Hmm. But it counts. But oh. that's not the spectacle of this list, Dad. You no, know, I'm going to get into that. He has 31 games played, three, uh, 14 wins with a 3.00 goals against average and 11 losses, two overtime losses, and uh, same percentage of, a same percentage of 90%. Um, and then their backup goaltender is Griffin Outhouse. Oh, we looked all over for you, Griffin. We finally found you. Can I read this one? Go ahead. Nine games played. He has one win with a 4.25 goals against average, a .874 save percentage. He has four losses, two overtime losses. Um, so the uh, Icemen are the affiliate to the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah. Ah. So there's Thank your... Thank you for looking it up, sir. So there's your connection. <laughs> there's your connection. Okay. That's why we didn't find an outhouse in the moose. Mm. Right. Uh, so, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by our wonderful friends. Where can you go? Um, where do you go? Oh, oops. Do you go behind the solar bears? What's behind the solar bears? What is it? Oh, the hockey locker. Yep, you can go to your one-stop shop uh, place for all your hockey needs. Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also call them at 414-800-7585 if you have any questions about hockey equipment. Um, if you don't spend money, we don't know you. Hey, talk to Milos, too. Milos is a solid dude. Yep, very high. We so recommend it. Subscribe to us. <laughs> watch them. Um, outside of that, uh, pay attention to us on Friday. We have, I believe, a triple. Ooh, yeah, yeah, triple we do. factor. Yeah, the Predators also play the Blackhawks. We oh. play the Wolves, and oh. they play the their rival, the, uh, uh, the Iceman. Iceman. Oh, so yeah. it's a triple rival night. It's going to be get a, a good full one pipeline. Too. Yeah. Uh, no, it would just be weird if we were playing the Moose and they were playing Winnipeg. <laughs> but hey, it's all good, though. But um, then again, we wouldn't get to talk about us. All right, so this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. We've got to get moving, so see you guys later. You Daniel, Chris, and Matt, peace.